Good day to all of you. So in this video tutorial, you're going to learn unsigned binary multiplication. So we have this term unsigned, meaning all the digits of a binary number is magnitude, are magnitude values and then there is no sign bit, which is the leftmost part of a binary number. So it means also that the examples of binary numbers that we're going to deal with here in this tutorial are all positive integers. Okay, so before that, Let's have a review of single bit binary addition with carry because as the same with decimal numbers, uh, multiplying uh, numbers in our number system will have addition of partial products. So we need to have an addition operation also in the partial products of binary multiplication. So um, this uh, slide specifically is from logic and computer design fundamentals fourth edition so let's continue our discussion so given two binary digits as we have x and y a carry in z we get the following sum the s and the carry c and then this is the first condition so the carry in which is c has values of zero so if we're going to add so for x and y, 0 plus 0 is of course 0 for the sum and then there is no carry so that's why c is equal to 0. And then uh, next is we have 0 plus 1 is we have 1 for the sum and then there is no carry in for um, c. And then we have uh, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and then also there is no carry in c. So as you have noticed, as long as there's only 1, you only have to bring it down. And then next is we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 carry 1. So the sum is 0, but we have a carry in in, uh, in C. So we have 1, 0. So this is not read as 10 because we are in a binary number, in a binary number system. So if we're going to convert it to decimal, so the weights here is 1 and 2. So that's that's actually why 1, 0 is equal to 2 in decimal. And also 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 in in our uh, number in our number system. Okay, next condition is what if the carry in and the z has values of 1. So for the first condition, so we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 is we have 1. And then the carry is 0 as I already mentioned that as long as there is 1, 1, you just need to bring it down. And then is we and then next is we have 1 plus 0 plus 1 is we have 0 carry 1. Just like with this one. And then next is we have 1 plus 1 plus 0 is equal to 0 carry 1. As you may notice, as long as you have two ones, the result will always be 1, 0. Or if you're going to um, compute 0 carry 1. And then next is we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 is we have 1 carry 1. So we have to remember this principle because this is very important since we are going to um, use binary addition with the partial products in binary multiplication. So um, let's have an example for, for you to illustrate how unsigned binary multiplication is done. Okay, let's have our first example. So let's have 10 digits. So we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 0 times 1, 0, 0, 1, base 2. Okay. So before we solve this, we have, we have to remember also some principles in binary multiplication. So, 0 times 0, of course, is equal to 0. And then 0 times 1 is equal to 0. And then 1 times 0 is equal to 0. And then 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So, in these conditions, you may notice that as long as all the, the values is 1 and multiply, uh, in going to multiply it, it will always equal to 1. And then, as long as there is one zero, uh, any number actually multiplied to zero is equ uh, is always equivalent to zero. Okay, so first is we have this multiplicand here. The digit of the multiplicand is, okay, one times zero. Okay, we have to multiply it 
uh, in each both of the digits of the multiplier. So we have uh, 1 times 0 is we have 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 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 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, and then 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, what did you notice? As long as the digit in the multiplicand is 1, okay, just it will appear as the values of the multiplier. So for shortcut, if you see that the uh, digit in the multiplicand is 1, just copy the multiplier. That's the easiest than to multiply it 1 per digit. Okay. So next is we have 0. So actually you can multiply it 1 by 1 with 0. But since any number multiplied uh, by 0 is equal to 0, uh, there is also a faster way to do this is since your um, digit of multiplicand is 0, so we have 2. Uh, just count the number of digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, since it's 10 digit, it means you have to put 10 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then next again, we have another zero. So, just put 10 zeros again. 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then last but not the least is we have a digit 1 in the multiplicand. So let's just copy the given. So we have 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, these are partial products, so we're going to add. So we have bring down 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, then 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, so as long as there is 1, 1, just bring down 1, and then there's also 1, 1 here, so just bring down 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is we have 0, carry 1, so as long as, okay, there are two 1s in here, so it's automatically 0, carry 1. And then 1, 2, 3, we have 3 ones. So 1, carry 1, 3 ones again. 1, carry 1, all, uh, only 1, 1. So we have to bring it down. And then 1 plus 1 is we have 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is we have 0, carry 1. Bring down 1 and then we have bring down 1 also. So this is our answer. So let's just check. So the weights 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6, and 512. Okay, so let's add. We have 512 plus 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. Okay, 5, 12, 1, 2, 8, 64, 16, 8, 4, and 2. Okay, let's add. So we have 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 4, 14, plus 6 is 20, plus 8, 28, 28 plus 4 is 32, 32 plus 2 is 34, three care, uh, uh, 4 carry 3, so 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is we have 6, Plus 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 3 carry 1, 1 plus 5, 6 plus 1 is we have 7, 34. And this is 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, so let's um, solve. Okay, so we have 734 times 9. Okay, so we have 4 times 9 is we have... 36, 6 carry 3, 9 times 7 is 27, plus 3 is we have 30, 0 carry 3. And then 9 times 7 is 63, plus 3 is we have 66. So we have 6, 6, 0, 6. 
And then we have, so let's get the values for our final answer. So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6, 5, 1, 2, 1,024, 2,048, and 4,096. So let's add. So we have 4,096 plus 2,048 and then plus 256 plus 128 plus 64 plus 8, 4, and 2. Okay, so we have 6 plus 8 is we have 14 plus 6 is 20 plus 8 is 28 plus 4 is 32 plus 8 is 40 plus 4 is 44 plus 2 is we have 46. So 6 carry 4. So 4 plus 9 is equal to 13 plus 4 17. 17 plus 5 is 22. 22 plus 2 is 24. 24 plus 6 is we have 30. 0 carry 3. So we have 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. And then 4 plus 2 is we have 6. So this is our final answer. So it's correct. So our final answer is 1100111100111. So, uh, to reinforce your learning, so let's have another example. Okay, so another example is we have 1001111111. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 1 times 1101. One, okay. Okay, since it's a 1, let's just copy the given. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 0, 0, and then 1. And then 0, so we have 10 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then again, 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 0, 1. And then last is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 0, 1. Okay, then let's add the partial products. So, bring down 1, bring down 1, 1 plus 1 is we have 0, carry 1. Okay, as we have reviewed, um, the, the maximum number of 1s in the, in the given is only 3. So, that's why it's 1, carry 1. So, what if we have 4 1s? Okay, for 4 1s is um, any value or if the number of 1s is even, it's always equal to 0. Since 1, 2, 3, 4, it's even. So, the question now is how many carry-ins are we going to do? So, for 1 plus 1, it is 0 carry 1. Since that is 2 ones and this is 4 ones, it has doubled. So, here, so we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 0. And then, we're going to provide 2 carry ones. So, okay, next is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 5. Since this is an odd number of 1s, it will be always equal to 1. So, how many carry-ins are we going to get? So, for 3 1s, it's 1 carry 1. So, since this is 5, we have 1, 2 carry 1s. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 1 and then 2 carry 1s and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 1, and then 2, carry 1s, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 0, 2, carry 1s, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, again, we have 0, and 2, carry 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, and then 
2 carry 1's 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 so this is our answer again let's check so we have 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 1 2 8 2 5 6 and 512 so again let's add to check if the r answer is correct 512 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 so 512 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 so let's add 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 6 is 14 14 plus 8 is 22 22 plus 4 is we have 26 26 plus 2 is 28 plus 1 is we have 29 9 carry 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 6 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 is we have 13 okay then carry 1 3 carry 1 so we have 639 and then our multiplicand is what 8 plus 4 plus 1 is we have 13 so 639 times 13 so 9 times 3 is 27 7 carry 2 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is we have 11 3 times 6 is equal to 18 plus 1 is we have 19. And then 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 6 is 6. So we have 7. 1 plus 9 is 10. Okay, carry 1. 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 3 is we have 13. And then 1 plus 1 plus 6 is we have 8. We have 8,307. So we have, let's check, 1... 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6, 5, 1, 2, 1,024, 2,048, and then 4,096. So what is 4,096 times 2? So 4,096 times 2 is we have, okay, 12, 9 times 2 is equal to 18, then 19, okay, okay, so we have 8, 1, 9, 2, so 8, 1, 9, 2, okay, let's add, 8, 1, 9, 2, plus 64, plus 32, plus 16, plus 2, and then plus 1, okay, 8192 64 32 16 2 and 1 So 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 6 14 14 plus 2 14 plus 2 is we have 16 and then we have 17 7 carry 1 1 time 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 6 16 16 plus 3 is 19. 16 plus 1 is we have 20. 0 carry 2. Then 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we have 8. We have 8,307 just the same. So this is our final answer. So we have 1,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,1,1,1,0,0,1,1. So this is the end of our video tutorial. So for unsigned Binary multiplication is we're just going to multiply all the digits of the multiplicand to the each digit of the uh, multiplier. And then to check whether your answer is correct, you can use this um, weights so that you can check um, if uh, the answer has the same, for example, in our binary uh, in the rather in our decimal number system if you do have any questions so please feel free to comment down below and then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so i hope to see you again in our series of lessons with regards to binary numbers so thank you very much good day and stay safe